You probably know shingles as that painful rash your grandmother had. But what if I told you it's secretly attacking your heart right now, and most people have no idea? This connection is so disturbing that cardiologists are completely rethinking how we prevent heart attacks. Here's what's really happening inside your body. The same virus that gave you chickenpox as a kid never actually left. It's been hiding in your nerve cells for decades, waiting. When shingles erupts on your skin, that virus isn't just causing a rash. It's triggering a massive inflammatory storm that tears through your entire cardiovascular system like a wrecking ball. Within just the first week after shingles appears, your risk of having a stroke skyrockets by nearly 250%. Heart attack risk? It jumps by almost 60%. And this danger doesn't disappear when your rash heals. Your cardiovascular system remains vulnerable for months, sometimes even years afterward. But here's the part that'll really shock you. The virus doesn't need to reach your heart to damage it. When shingles activates, it releases inflammatory molecules that travel through your bloodstream, destabilizing the cholesterol plaques in your arteries. Think of it like shaking a snow globe. Those plaques that were sitting quietly suddenly become ticking time bombs, ready to break off and trigger a heart attack or stroke at any moment. Your immune system goes into overdrive, flooding your body with proteins that make your blood stickier and more likely to clot. Your blood vessels constrict, your blood pressure spikes, all while you're focused on treating that painful rash, not realizing your heart is under siege. The people at highest risk? Anyone over 50 especially those who already have high blood pressure, diabetes, or existing heart disease. If you've had shingles recently, and you have any of these conditions, you're in the danger zone. So what can you do? First, the shingles vaccine isn't just about preventing a painful rash anymore. It's literally heart disease prevention. Studies show it can slash your risk of cardiovascular events by protecting you from the virus in the first place. If you're over 50 and haven't gotten it, this is your wake-up call. Second, if you do develop shingles, don't just treat the rash and move on. Talk to your doctor about your cardiovascular risk. You might need closer monitoring, more aggressive cholesterol management, or adjustments to your medications for several months after the infection. Your body is more connected than you ever imagined. That virus hiding in your nerves could be the hidden trigger behind the heart attack nobody saw coming. Now you know the truth. The question is, what are you going to do about it?